how to start a YouTube channel step-by-step -step 2020. Hey, I started my YouTube channel in 2019 and I thought, oh, the train has left, it's oversaturated. Um, is there any way I'm going to be able to make YouTube into a thing or grow a channel? Like how do you even start when you have one subscriber? But I'm here now, one year and eight months later, proving that it is possible because I have 143,000 subscribers. And the only thing I have done is been very consistent. So I've tried to upload every week, um, not always succeeding, but try to always upload once a week. I've been very smart about, been very smart. Um, well, I've been strategic <laughs> about the type of videos I do and about the content that I put out. And thirdly, I've then done a lot of how-to videos, which are the things that people find me when they search. People search for how-to videos a lot on YouTube, but then I've also had content that is more personal and a bit more scary and vulnerable that maybe isn't reaching a huge audience, but I think builds that personal connection. So those were, those were my points. Um, all right, that's it. No, obviously not. <laughs> Those were not all my points. Um, I'm gonna teach you or show you how to start your own YouTube channel step by step. And um, yeah, but okay. So that beginning was just more to um, encourage you to start a YouTube channel if it's something that you've been dreaming about and thinking about and maybe you feel like it's too much. And with the whole video editing, I didn't know a lot about that when I started, but when you just take it step by step, um, I'm telling you it's super rewarding. And it's also starting the YouTube channel. It's the thing that also has grown my Instagram account. And now I can do sponsorships both via YouTube and on Instagram. And also I get revenue, revenue, <laughs> revenue from the Google AdSense uh, being monetized on here so for my business it's just been super good it took some time and it's taken a lot of work but it's also been so fun and really satisfying to see it grow and uh, just to learn new skills so you probably don't need a YouTube sales pitch um, if you clicked on this video but I gave you anyone um, but without further ado let's jump right into the step-by-step -step part portion of this video Step one, name your channel. When thinking of a name, it's good to keep in mind that you might change direction over the course of having your channel. So being super specific in the beginning, if you're not exactly sure that this is the thing that you'll keep making videos for years to come, maybe uh, choosing a more general name or maybe just having your own name or something that can mold into many different things. Um, maybe that's a good idea, uh, unless you're like super, super certain that that is exactly the thing that you're gonna always make videos about. Step two is to add a profile picture and a header picture. So people are really visual. So it's important that it looks quite nice, your channel and the channel art you have there. Um, so to it's a profile picture that is relevant. And also I would say maybe don't change this one too often just because it's something that people will recognize. So if you keep changing that all the time, um, people just won't know what is this channel and not recognize it anymore. And the header picture will look a little bit different depending on what device you're on, if you're on laptop or TV or mobile, um, but you can crop that and customize that so it looks nice, as nice as it can on each device. Step three, make a description what your channel is about. So on YouTube, there's the little about page, which I'm not sure if anybody actually reads these, <laughs> but if anybody goes in there and wants to know what your channel is about, it's nice that you have some info there, a nice little message and just shortly describing what you can expect from your channel and what type of videos and content it is that you make. All right, and when it comes time to upload your first video, even before making that video, I would definitely recommend spending some time researching that subject on YouTube. So what I like to do is I go in the little search tab and then I will type in some keywords. So for example, if I have this knitting channel, I would maybe type in how to knit and then I would see what type of people, what type, no, what type of things people are searching for around that topic. And that will just give me ideas. So then I can really think about my title and my video that it will align with something that people are already searching for and uh, or other type of keywords like knitting for beginners and then what type of things people have been searching for. Um, and obviously you don't want to make it too general or too clickbaity. It should be still very relevant to the keyword, um, but it's just a good way to get a sense and idea of what the things that people are looking for so that you can really make your video uh, targeted to the 
the audience that would be interested in your videos. When you upload your video to YouTube, you can also type in the description box a little description, um, which is, I think, really nice to just have there, even if it doesn't have to take too long and it doesn't have to be like a whole script of the actual video, but just spend a little time on that. And you can also put some links if you have other social media accounts or a website that you want people to find some more info on. And next, ooh, spend some time making a good thumbnail. Um, a lot of people I have seen when I've watched some YouTube tips videos keep saying how important the thumbnail is and I would absolutely agree. What that means um, is trickier because I think having a thumbnail that really stands out and draws your attention, that takes some effort and time and also just some experience to figure out what type of thumbnail it is that maybe your potential audience is looking for. Um, one thing uh, that I've tried to do is look at the type of videos that are in my niche. So for example, photography channels and maybe look at the type of, bleh, <laughs> look at the type of thumbnails they have and then try to also think of trying to stand out from that and actually not blending in and not doing what everybody else is doing. You have to experiment a little bit, you'll see what works and what doesn't. Something that is a good photo and is just like striking and just have that, you know, that you kind of get intrigued by what it is, uh, tends to work really well. And I tend to do all of my uh, thumbnails either in Photoshop or then I use the app Adobe Spark or then Canva. And I usually like to spend a few days on that. So I'll make like one first draft and then maybe the next day I'll look at it again and think of it, is this good? Is this sort of, does it pop enough? Um, so yeah, the thumbnail is like, it's a jungle out there, but definitely spend some time on making that because that can really make or break how well your video will do. When you have your first video uploaded, um, it's just time to think of the next video and keep making videos because you'll improve and you'll get new ideas. And don't be discouraged if it takes some time for people to find your channel and you, for you to gain some traction. It does take a while and it doesn't happen overnight. Um, I found that the YouTube algorithm really rewards consistency. So trying to upload once a week is a really good strategy to try to have or even two times a week. But remember that good quality is also something you want to strive for. And just like having a bunch of videos um, out there, I don't think that's in the long term, maybe such a good idea, but definitely try to have once a week at least. And yeah, it, it takes a while um, and it, it's best to, if you're gonna start a YouTube channel, to think of it like you're gonna be in it for the long run and it's not something like just overnight, it's not gonna happen. Um, for me, it took eight months before anything really started to happen and like my channel started to grow and that was because one of my videos went a little viral and then uh, suddenly I saw like a huge spike in growth. Um, but just remember that uh, you're in it because you want, you have something maybe to say, you have something to share and you want to become better at making videos and it's something fun and even just to experiment and be playful with, um, that's really where the enjoyment comes from. And then if people find your videos slowly, um, that's really fun also to then see and then you feel like, okay, like you've worked for it. So it's like a reward that really feels, feels good. And then one last tip is when you have then a bunch of videos, you can make playlists uh, depending on th theme and topic. So people will find them easier. And also when they come to your page uh, and maybe you have a few different type of topics on your channel um, so people can binge watch them if they're really interested in something specific. Um, it just, I think, looks quite nice on your channel page. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this gave you a bit of a roadmap on how to start a YouTube channel. Um, I don't think it is ever late, too late to start. Just remember to talk about what you know about your own experiences um, and be rather quite specific than too general and trying to cover everything. Um, obviously things like learning how to be in front of the camera and editing and all those things, that will come with time. Uh, just try to keep improving and stay really consistent with that and it will all come, I promise. Um, I hope, or I would be super interested to hear if you have a YouTube channel, so link that below and I can come and look at it. And also if you have any other questions about with YouTube, I have some other videos uh, planned that are coming up that I'm really excited about. Um, so it's gonna be fun to make those and share that with you. And yeah, until next time, uh, take care and I will see you back here probably next Thursday again. All right. See you. A bee in my bonnet, hello, hello. A bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello. A bee in my bonnet, hello.